This is Białowieża, a breathtaking scenic area in East Poland where you can find real and spoiled ancient forests. This is how the European forests must have looked like and you'll find a lot of their original wildlife too. The forest floor is covered with thousands of dead or fallen trees. The marks on these trees clearly show that plenty of animals profit from them. The grey-headed woodpecker, who looks a bit like the European green woodpecker, is a typical visitor of these wet forests. He's looking for ants and other small insects behind the bark of some drowned common alders. Not far from there, another bird uses the bark as well. This Eurasian nuthatch uses a slit in the bark to clamp an acorn. With his small but sharp bill, he cuts into it to try and open it. But this time, he quickly flies away with it. The breaking of branches chased the Eurasian nuthatch away. And here's the one responsible for that, the true king of Białowieża forest, the European bison or wizent. This herd is on its way to the nearby grasslands that are not yet covered in snow. These bison are far less known than their American counterparts, but that doesn't mean they're less spectacular. At the beginning of the 20th century, they were declared extinct in the wild. 50 or so animals remained in captivity. Around 1950, after a process of careful selective breeding, a few animals were reintroduced in Białowieża. The reintroduction program was a resounding success. Today, more than 500 visions live in this national park. And there are other reintroduction programs up and running in nature reserves across Europe. While the bison finally retreat into the forest, other big grazers show up. These red deer feast on the grass as well, though they do not dare to enter open terrain like the bison do, and so they stick close to the edge of the forest. And they are right to do so. A couple of days ago, a female deer got killed by a pack of wolves. The carrion attracts lots of other animals. These jays have been here since sunrise, and they will not disappear before sunset. And although common buzzards are capable of taking down prey the size of rabbits, they will also benefit from the dead animal. In the meantime, ravens have also spotted the meal. They circle high above, shrieking. That, in turn, scares the buzzard that flies off. In winter, ravens often form large flocks. By calling, they inform each other of the presence of food. But when they reach the female deer, Białowieża's ultimate bird of prey lands. It's a white-tailed eagle. The ravens instinctively try to chase him away, but that doesn't bother him at all.
In the end, he's had enough of it, and it's him chasing them away.